Good morning. It is 6.54 a.m. on Tuesday, September 15th, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I've mostly just gotten up. This is five more minutes. I'm already running behind schedule because today is the release day of a new Dungeons & Dragons adventure, and my brain just wants to think about that. And so I was reading the introduction of it until I realized, oh, shoot, I have to, like, get ready for work and stuff. Um, so yesterday, uh, like, like I've uh, mentioned, this week is a pretty busy week generally for, for work. Um, so far so good. The first day was slower than the rest of the week will be, but, uh, it went well at least. So, you know, fingers crossed that things continue to go smoothly. We will see. <clears throat> um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm excited for the new D&D &D adventure. It's called Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. And, uh, takes place in a, you know, wintry landscape where the god of winter's fury has uh, magically imposed a curse on this land so that uh, the sun will never rise above the horizon. And uh, seems pretty fun to me. Uh, so probably going to be running that. Um, uh, I'll be streaming that probably, but, uh, that's, that's a few weeks away. I'm still organizing that and finishing some of the other stuff I'm doing. For example, we have, uh, a session tonight of so many levels that I'm really excited for because, uh, the party is going to essentially like put on a show to tell the story of themselves essentially. And I think that's exciting. Um, we'll see how that goes. Rocket is wandering around. Uh, I did a bunch of cleaning yesterday. Like, you can observe the counter behind me. Substantially less cluttered. And uh, I am not good at keeping things uncluttered. Um, the computer desk in front of me right now, for example, is still pretty cluttered. I need to uh, figure out a better place to put some of this stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's, I, I always feel a lot better when I've done the cleaning, but it's, you know, I'm sure many people can relate to this. Like there's this tendency to be sort of lazy about the maintenance cleaning. So things gradually accumulate and accumulate, and then that becomes stressful in its own right until all of a sudden you clean everything and then it just feels so much better and you say like well why couldn't I have just kept it like this and not have this dress in the meantime and the answer is mm. um, I feel like I had something else I was going to talk about oh it was OK KO Let's Be Heroes which is a cartoon that had like uh, 120 some uh, 12 minute episodes uh, on Cartoon Network and it's it's done now already it had like three big seasons Rocket, what are you doing? Um, but I, I had seen it here and there I'd like seen commercials for it and stuff like that when I was watching you know Steven Universe or Adventure Time but hadn't ever really um, you know checked it out but now it's on HBO Max, and so I decided to just start watching it. And what a little piece of candy this show is. Um, it's, it's not challenging. You know, I would say it's mostly for kids, um, but that's fine. It's charming. Uh, the animation is simple, but, uh, you know, distinctive and, um, like... A good fit for the kinds of stories they're telling where which just is all about this uh, little sort of strip mall plaza called Lakewood Plaza Turbo where it's in a world where there's like everybody everybody around pretty much is trying to be some kind of a hero or a villain and it's but it's all just kind of very silly and it focuses on this little kid named K.O. who uh, uh, you know, starts working at a, at a little, uh, like convenience store for superheroes 
and you know it's about him and his friends and it's just very sweet and silly and charming i mean it's not like complicated in a way it's not like deep and meaningful but it's very just silly and charming and sweet and it's good sort of comfort food cartoon viewing anyway i'll leave it there and i'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes